Hello and welcome back. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a little bit of um, preserving. Yeah, what I'm going to be showing you is um, how to make your own hot sauces. Um, these, this is a batch I've made up um, yesterday. And what I should have done is not made it up. I should have gone through the process and made this batch up. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you the process and, um, and then... Then what? Then... Um, Show the first process, then leave it a few months, then record the last process, and um, yeah, you'll see how it's made. It does. It does take a few months, so you've got to be patient. Um, what I'll do, I'll move over to um, the other table now. Let's clear the space a little bit. Right, let's see if it's a shot. Okay, so yep, this is um, all the ingredients we'll be using. We've got um, two types of chilies, I'm going to do two, two batches. This one's a soaking at the moment just to clean it. This one's I've already cleaned. These ones are sort of, I don't know, bird's eye chilies or whatever they are, I don't know what they're called. Um, they're medium hot anyway. And these ones are scotch bonnets, um, just soaking. What I'm doing, I'm just soaking it in a bit of uh, water and um, in vinegar, just regular white, white vinegar, just to um, get all the gunk off them, all the pesticides, everything. You know, I've already done that with this one. Uh, what I do, I'll drain that, and um, you know, two two large jars that you can um, seal with the metal metal tops. I've um, I've cleaned these. What I do, I'll probably give them another clean um, just before I'm ready to go. And um, salt, you can use um, pickling salt, but there's no real difference. Um, it's only just finely um, finer, finer, whatever, finer. Um, size so it helps it dissolve easily but I'll just be using regular regular salt and and um, garlic as well and I'll be using half a clove per 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 batch per jar and what we've got here is um, xanthan gum tiny bit that 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 is right at the end though but xanthan gum yeah I'll be using that in a few months time and some um, cider vinegar, a nice tasty cider vinegar that I'll be using in a few months time as well so I think I've already used this so I don't need that no more got the salt and yeah so what I'll be doing is just um, clean this up, drain it all off and chop them all up and um, yeah you'll see um, so yeah so what I'll do I'll just cut these in half uh, I don't think you really have to but yeah I'll do This will take a few months to, um, I'm going to have this ready for Christmas basically, so I'll give them away as Christmas gifts. Um, so this will take a few months to ferment anyway. Um, basically, it's like how Tabasco sauce is done, like we, Louisiana style sauce. And, uh, and yeah, it'll take a few months to, um, to do. What I'll do, I'm going to do the Scotch bonnets. Um, I'll, I do advise using gloves for this. Because what what will happen later on in the evening? You rub your eye, you rub your eye, and um, you end up getting getting hot sauce in your eye. Actually, what I do, I'll put some gloves on, because um, you know. Right, here we go. Put the lids. Uh, this ain't ready yet, I still need to make up the brine, but I just want to keep that away and just make sure bugs don't land in it or whatever. Alright, so we got all these um, chopped up. I'm going to add um, another garlic to this one, because these chilies are very, um, there's not a lot of flesh on them. And what also I'm going to do, I'm going to throw some peppercorns in there. Not many, but it'll help with the flavour. Uh, I might put a few more cloves in there, but I'll put a, a bunch more in this one. So, um... Yeah, then we'll get on to uh, making up the brine, and um, yeah. Well, I've just scooped out a bit of um, chilli out of 
get some peppers out of this one because it's um, quite quite full. And um, you find this will float initially. It will float. So um, first of all, it's best to have a bit of uh, a gap. And uh, what I'm doing now, it's really peeled. How does that happen? Not quite. Make sure you get all the skin off. You don't want that. You don't want that in, in there. Right. Yeah. Um, anyone that's out there that wants to try this, I really recommend you use um, gloves because, yeah, you know, I've warned you. So I'm going to add some peppercorns to this, some whole peppercorns. Right, let's give this a shake about, get it all mixed in there, and then get on to making the brine. Oh, it's all swoll swollen up. We'll have to press this down again. Right, so what now? Yes, let's make some brine. Now that this is um, relatively easy, for I think this is going to be a 5% brine. I've just looked it up. So for every litre of um, water, um, mineral water, for every litre of this, you want three tablespoons of, um, of uh, salt. And these are half litre bottles. So every litre you want three tablespoons. Uh, I don't know how many grams that'll be. I'm not even sure if it's a standard um, size tablespoon. But you don't want too much salt. But then you don't want not enough salt. Mm. There we go. Right, stir until it's all melted away. See, it's all cloudy. So, um, take a little bit of time. And notice how I'll put the chilies in first before I add the liquid because you don't want it overflowing. This is um, anaerobic, anotropic. Basically, the fermenting takes place with the lack of oxygen. I think it's ana. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, the fermenting. You don't want any aero in it. I mean it will float initially, I've not had any problems with it sort of poking above the line of um, is it, this process will um, produce carbon dioxide and um, every now and again you will have to sort of burp it just to let the air so it doesn't build up too much pressure and um, yeah and this one, when this one's done I want to add a kiwi fruit to it because this chilli is a very um, fleshy so I'm going to add a kiwi fruit to that one just to uh, bulk it out a bit. Well, I'm going to leave this for a bit. Make sure that's uh, fully melted in. Well, as you can see, it's, um, it's gone clear now. We're going clearer. Um, yeah, the salt is fully uh, melted in there. Yeah, it's all float. Initially, it will float. Um, I've seen people use before, like get like an onion, a sliced onion, and push that down so it keeps it all submerged. There's plastic gizmos you can get to push them down and keep them submerged. 
but I've never had a problem with just doing it like this and let it float. Eventually it will sink again. Right, now I do. And that will do it for every few days, just burp it. When I say burp it, just do this and you'll hear a little hiss. Don't open it fully and let it breathe. So you don't want too much air getting in there or start going mouldy. So just crack it a little bit until you hear the hiss. The same, you know, just crack it a little bit, let the, let the pressure that's built up escape and then close it down again. You know, like, like that, just like that. And that'll be it for um, a couple of months. So what I'll do, I'll get back to you. Yo. Right, okay, so it's been, um, it's been three weeks and um, most of the most of the fermentation has taken place. It's still, um, I've left it for a couple of days without burping it, and so you can still see the gas, hear the gas come out. I'm trying to be very quiet so you can um, hear it. I'm gonna give it a burp. You see all the bubbles on top. I don't know if you could hear that. Yeah. Oh, that smells amazing. All right, so what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna tip out. A bunch of this um, brine. I'm gonna tip it out. I'm not gonna tip out too much because uh, maybe about half um, on both of them. This one I might tip out a bit more because I want to add a kiwi. I've got some kiwi fruit here. And um, yeah, so what I'll do, I'll tip out about half. Same on this one. I've got a bottle of um, cider vinegar. And I've got this here. This is from gum. And that will help thicken it if it needs thickening. Um, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see. So what I'll do, I'm gonna tip these out and um, then we can start blending. Yep, so um, I've tipped them out. Um, oh yeah, by the way, ignore this. What I'll do, I'm gonna ferment a bunch of um, garlics. Once I've got one of these, um, once I've got one of these freed up. So what I'll do, I'm gonna start with the scotch bonnet. And um, no, it might be a good idea to wear gloves when you do this, and probably eye protection, it's, you know, in case something flies up and gets you in the gets in the eye. You know, that won't be very pleasant, would it? So, what I do? What I do? I'll open this and start blending. You only want to add a tiny, tiny little bit of this, and you've got to really be careful when you're adding it. Make sure I find a teaspoon. You literally need like less than a quarter of a teaspoon, if I can even find one. consistency of sort of it's chunkier than than Tabasco sauce and it sort of wants to cling to the to the blender so I'm gonna call this one good the main thing is it doesn't settle and separate this is um I find this will help with um, sort of suspending it and keeping it from separating and you can see I've made it quite quite the mess of the kitchen counter so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna close this back up and call this one done now and then I'll start on the second one. What I might do on this one I'm gonna tip out all the juice from this one and add a kiwi or and a half or maybe I don't know whatever. But for now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna clean up because yeah I don't want cross contaminations now. And this is starting to get quite warm. I wanna let this cool down. I don't want to burn out my um, my blender. I 
do a taste test as well. Oh, that is good. Tastes like Tabasco, but it's got that Scotch bonnet flavour to it. And, um, oh, if I, and yeah. Oh, that's good. The heat really, um, it's got a good heat to it. A good flavour. <coughs> yeah, so I'm gonna call this one good. This one's ready for bottling now, so I'll put this aside. And I'll um, just quickly clean up the area, wipe down the area, and then we can um, start again. And then f let's forget about this one for now. Let's um, get back onto this one. So, um, yeah. This one was a success, as you can see. All the bits are nicely suspended in there, they're not settling or anything. So this one, what I'm going to do, I'm going to pour this into jars. I'm going to sterilise the jars again. So I cleaned them yesterday, just with hot soapy water. In the dish. Right, okay, this is it. Um, yeah, this is the end of the video. Uh, thank you very much for um, watching all the way to the end, and making it all the way to the end. Try to make it as interest, interesting as I could. And um, yeah, what I'll be doing, I'll be doing sort of more of those sort of things in the future. Um, maybe some jerky, maybe some, I don't know, pot of chilli sauce. I don't know. But uh, thank you again for, um, for watching and please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe. Thank you.